Yo, what's going on, everybody? This is Ray three four seven three. I am the gaming sideboard, and it is thirty minutes with the gaming sideboard. Three topics. Try to spend ten minutes each on the topics. What's going on, Raider guy eighty seven, and Raven animate Pika Pika Pika. Guys, as you know, the nominations came out. For the Gaming Awards 2023. And uh, a BG3 is on there. Spider-Man's on there. Uh, Nintendo is on there with two games. They got Mario and they got uh, the Zelda game on there. Um, it is And Alan Wake. And a lot of other games that got nominated. But you know what? Usually when it comes to award shows, there's games that get snubbed. And I'm going to talk about a couple of those games tonight. And we're going to do some past snubs later on. But let's get with the first snub right here. We're going to go full display. Octopath Traveler 2. Oh my god. So I played Octo Traveler 1. Uh, back in what well, that game came out, uh, I think around back in 2018, 2019. I played it on, I got it on Stadia, I played it on Stadia, and it was a beautiful game. And then they came out this year with Octopath Traveler 2. Guys, get the demo. They have a demo that you can pick the characters. I picked, um, I did the demo and I picked the uh, Trone. You first of all, let's 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 check out this video real quick. Hello. Well, now why you don't want to? Oh, there it is. Right there. Here we go. My blade will not waver. I'm going to become a star and bring smiles to people's faces. I bet you can't help but trip over opportunity in a town like this. The man who took everything from me shall die by my hand. No good thief fears a little fire. Unbelievable. What are those gods of ours thinking? Leave the hunting to me. These people are suffering. I must help them. Now. So, this game, Octopath, Octopath Traveler 2. This game was beautifully narrative. This game could have got uh, nominated for RPG. This game could have got also uh, narrative as well. Beautiful game. Please do not let the pixels fool you. This is a beautiful pixel game with 3D background. Wonderful story. Oh my God. When you do the demo, I highly recommend you try uh, Trone, a T-H-R-O-N-E-A character. Um, basically, she plays, uh, it's, she works, she's, <laughs> there's these two people, one's called the mother, one's called the father, and they have these special collars around these kids, and these kids have to go and steal, they have to murder, and they have to do stuff around town, and so Trone, you know, she's got to, uh, she's told to kill somebody to get their outfit, which is a dress, so she can go into a brothel. That's right, a brothel. She has to pretend she's a prostitute to break inside a mansion to uh, kill somebody, to prove herself to the mother and the father. It's some kind of weird kind of cult of all the bad kids around town. And they steal, they murder, they do all kinds of stuff. And it's just crazy. Um, wonderful, wonderful, like... I we're kind of the story like the narrative story is amazing um 
the voice acting in this game is top top like 10 out of 10 it's beautifully well done this game is a beautiful rpg it reminds me of when i played final fantasy 7 on the playstation except a little bit more better graphics the acting is oh my god the 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 characters just an amazing game it didn't get nominated for nothing it got snubbed did get nominated for nothing and this game won a lot of awards um, it got a lot of good reviews, uh, but it, the, when it came to the game of the year, video game awards, it, it didn't get nominated. It got snubbed, and um, that's why, and this is just my opinion, folks. This game, I thought, should have got uh, nominated, at least. Maybe not win, but it should have got some type of nomination. It is a beautiful, well-designed uh, designed, uh, game, beautiful game beautiful stories the music oh my god it, it could even got the music score it's the music the animation and everything oh my god it's like it's like one of those rpgs you have to play especially probably one of my top five rpg games bgg bg3 is number one is on my top but probably one of the top rpg games you really need to play hi once again go to steam check out the demo but once again, that is one of the stubs, Octopath Traveler 2. Damn, should have got nominated. All right, we're going to go on to the next one. Oh, my God. This is kind of, oh, my God. Let me, let me play this real quick. In light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. A lot to absorb on your first day. Can't believe I'm here. Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. What's going on, Kelly? You have much to learn. You have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Let me a surprised opponent is a weak opponent. They will test your abilities hey, both innate and learn. You've done it! I am wary of how Don't much forget, time guys, the new fifth year If you missed the Octo Traveler, the go back and rewind. Theatrics. I will I'm be here for this one anyway. uploading this what do to they YouTube. Want the Hogwarts students? I have a rare ability to see whispers of ancient magic. Extraordinary. It's a powerful magic that should only be wielded by a select few. The path we're on is terribly dangerous. But I do not know where it How leads. did this game not get nominated? What's going on, Kelly? What's going on, Neil? Thank you guys for stopping in. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you, Pika. Pika, Pika. I'm afraid you're on your own. I've ensured that we have a moment to ourselves. Let's even her out, shall we? We leave our legacy in your hands. Oh my goodness. How is Hog Hogwarts Legacy, how did it not get not one nomination? I get it. There's protesters. There's people that didn't care. There's people that, um, you, there's people that actually did play it. And I was one of those people. I, I went and I bought the deluxe. And as soon as I played this game, I was in awe. Um, I remember taking my kids to the Warner Brothers studio where they saw Hogwarts and where we walked around the town and everything. And my son going into the shops, trying on the, the scarves, the outfits, buying his wand and going to certain places and 
trying to learn how to do the one and everything. When I first played this game and you're going through the school and the marble floors, the walls, the paintings, the ghosts, the the NPCs in the game. Um, this game was amazing. How I, I just I get it. There's politics, but there's so I feel sorry for the people that worked on this game because they did such a fantastic job with the game. Um, looking forward to playing Hogwarts. Just waiting for it to come to GFN. I hear you. I hear you, man. Um, and it, it it like when this game came out, everybody was talking about this game. This game broke records. This game, I guess, politics and stuff behind it. But I, me, I, when I bought this game, I didn't think about the politics. I just played the game, and it just it was an amazing game. It was I really. Uh, I remember buying my, my broom and flying on it. I remember going to the shop buying my one, my wand. I remember going into the forest and, and, and fighting um, all the different characters that were a higher level and learning the magical spells, meeting all the different characters in this game. This game was such a beautiful game. It is just a shame. A shame that this game not did not get not even nominated, not even nominated, not even a nod. Just like Octopath Traveler, uh, two, uh, just two beautiful games snubbed. And once again, this is just my opinion. I know there's a lot of other games that people probably thought that should have got at least a nomination, but Hogwarts Legacy was one of those games in 2023. If you look at any list. It was on there as a top game of 2023. It's just as sad, the, the politics and stuff. I wish we could take the politics and throw it aside and focus on this beautiful game. God, this game had so many elements to it. Role playing and action and adventure. Feels like it's a game that everyone enjoyed. Indeed, this game broke records when it came out, Neil. And uh, it just... I said in the very long time ago, I said that this game would uh, shut out The Rock. I, I think we was on The Rock Show, and we were talking about it. And I said that this game, you know, I, don't, I didn't think it would win Game of the Year, but I thought it was going to get nominated, or it was going to get nominated for some. It didn't get nominated for nothing. And it's just a shame because there's a, a lot of people that put their, I could tell they put their hearts and soul into this game. Sierra Rose was even, yeah, Sierra Rose was even streaming it. And you know, it's got to be an awesome game for Sierra to stream the game. I think she even wore a hat, if I'm not mistaken. And, uh, but this, when I played the game, like I said, man, I remember my, my daughter read the books um, and then I took them to the Warner Brothers studio and um, just <laughs> we even did the the video where we got on the brooms and we had the green screen behind us and we went flying all around Hogwarts. My wife says if I ever reveal the video, she will kill me because she's on a broom flying around. It's funny. So I'm going to do it one day. But um, just a, just a, a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful game. But, uh, yeah, so once again, guys, uh, Hogwarts, I think, in my opinion, should have got nominated. Should have got nominated for something. All right, guys, so we talked about Octopath Traveler 2 getting snubbed. We talked about Hogwarts Legacy getting snubbed. Now we're going to talk about the biggest, boom, the biggest snubs in the history of of the game awards and uh shout out to this guy right here uh grant testa he wrote this article back in december 8 2022 uh but what he did is he went back and he looked at look when the gaming awards actually started so the biggest snubs at the game awards of 2014 uh he has alien isolation on here um, and he says, these include Alien Isolation, The Wolf Among Us, and Wolfenstein, The New Order. Oh, my God. I remember those games. And um, 
He said, uh, the wolf among us earn a best narrative and best performance nod. And the fan favorite reboot of the Wolfenstein franchise managed as best shooter. Now a defunct category at the Gaming Awards. And best narrative designation. Failing to win in either category. Wow. Then we go over to 25. 15 and oh my god bloodborne and oh my god undertale it failed to bring home any hardware at the second annual game awards but what was the snub was the yakuza uh a well-received fan favorite entry in a long-running franchise which failed to garner a single nomination at the gaming awards and so this is this person's opinion but I remember those games, and I remember Bloodborne and Undertale. So now we go back. Oh, my God, Stardew Valley, which people are still playing Stardew Valley. But um, Stardew Valley, which only received a Best Independent Game nomination at the Gaming Awards, third annual ceremony. In hindsight, Stardew Valley deserved greater recognition because to this day, the game still has a highly engaged massive player base six years after its launch, and that's true. Um, but the snub that year was XCOM 2, the turn-based tactic game. Uh, it only managed a Best Strategy Game nomination at the Gaming Awards, despite being a Game of the Year contender at all the other award ceremonies. And then we go down to 2017. The biggest snubs at the Game Awards in 2017, Hollow Knight he has here. Uh, Hollow Knight, the turn-based RPG, Divinity Original Sin 2, and the survival horror extravaganza Resident Evil 7 Biohazard. While the game that reinvented the Resident Evil formula did win best VR, and yes, that VR scared the crap out of me. I almost ran into the wall when I had my PS4 headset on and running from daddy and mama. That game did, that was an awesome VR game. Um, Nominated in the best game direction and audio design category, one of the generation's defining horror experiences was robbed of Game of the Year nomination. The Definity Original Sin 2, the third highest rated game on the Metacritic in 2017, could only muster a best role playing game nomination. Ah, and Hollow Knight only received a best indie debut. All right, let's go on down to 28, 2018, Spider-Man 2. Shout out to, I mean, this is Spider-Man, but Spider-Man 2 did get nominated for Game of the Year of 2023. But 2018 was another competitive year with action-adventure titles. Red Dead Redemption 2 and God of War leading the pack. However, the most notably Marvel Spider-Man Dragon Quest, uh, blah, 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 and Shadow of the Colossus each failed to earn any trophies at the 5th Annual Gaming Award despite being a system-selling PlayStation 4 launch exclusive that garnered critical acclaim selling 20 million copies at the height of the Marvel Mania Insomniac Spider-Man did not win any of its seven nominations. The game holds the record for the most nominations without a win. Damn, that's a that's a cold snub. Then uh, we're gonna go into, and this is a game I actually bought on Epic's Disco Elysium. Uh, the Game Awards in 2019 were very bizarre, despite the fact that Death Stranding led the way with then a record 10 nominations. It lost out to. Uh, from software's uh, Soulsborne Evolution, Sekiro Shadows Die Twice for the Game of the Year Award, despite Sekiro earning only half of the nominations, five compared to Death Stranding. Further confusing matters were the show's snubs of Disco, Disco, Elysium, and Resident Evil 2. Wow. Um, Elysium was nominated for four awards including best narrative best independent game best role-playing game fresh indie game sweeping each category with four victories so how exactly is this a snub 
because it didn't even get nominated for Game of the Year. It was doing good in the other categories, but they didn't get Game of the Year. But uh, I, come on, come on, De- going up against Death Stranding and Sekiro, come on now. Uh, we go into the biggest snubs at the Game Awards 2020. And who are they talking about down here? Let's see. Ori and the Will of the Wisps, the fifth highest rated game of 2020 on a Metacritic, did not receive a Game of the Year nomination and lost in each of its three categories. Finally, one has to wonder if uh, Jonah Jameson is on the Game Awards jury as Marvel's Spider-Man Mal Morales also failed to win any of his three nominations, making Spider-Man 0 for 10 at the Gaming Awards. Will that happen again? They should have expanded the nomination list this year. I agree. I, 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 agree. I agree. I agree. All right. Biggest snub at the Game Awards 2021. Uh, let's see. Uh, last year, the well, this wasn't last year, but 2021 Game Awards was led by the first-person shooter Deathloop and the Game of the Year winning two-player action platforms It Takes Two. However, Ratchet and Clank ripped apart. Psychonauts 2 and the uh, Returnal were all snubbed in their own way while Ratchet and Clank ripped apart and Psychonauts earned six and five nominations respectively, including Game of the Year. Neither took home a single honor despite winning Game of the Year awards at another uh, uh, other video game and award presentations. Uh, let's see. Uh, Resident Evil Village also received nominations for the ceremony's most coveted award. And then we go... Blah, 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 and that's about it. Uh, but real quick, let me go back here. Uh, so those are some of the past snubs. And then we talked about Octopath Traveler 2. Uh, guys, once go get the demo, try Pika Pika. I see you try the demo on Octopath Traveler 2. Beautiful music, great narrative beautiful pixel 3d background there's a scene where i'm on the rooftop and you can see the rain and you can it looks like real water with the pixel characters and the voice acting was amazing the narrative amazing game should have been narrative and rpg should have been nominated um hogwarts i think um it had rpg elements it had uh game direction um game of the year is it game of the year i won't i won't say that it's like game of the year but i think there could have been at least three categories that hogwarts could have got and could have won um let's see what else and then uh we talked about the past snubs and then real quick, guys, real quick, I think my game of the year is going to be BG3. It's going to be BG3. And if it's not, whew, <laughs> Alan Wake, Spider-Man 2, uh, you guys put it in the chat. But uh, I'm going to end it right here. But uh, once again, we talked about Octopath Traveler 2. Uh, we talked about uh, Hogwarts. It's just sad. But, you know, when there's, just like the music awards, there's always going to be somebody that gets snubbed. It's always snubs, no matter what. Everybody can't get in. But there's just certain games that I think should have got in. They should have, come on, they should have got in. And I think those two should have got in. But uh, good show, Ray. Thank you, thank you, Kevin. I appreciate that. Love you, brother. And, um, yeah, but guys, don't forget, uh, the awards is coming up in December. Please, uh, make sure you go. And, uh, I think there's like 31, 32 categories. Cast your vote. Go vote. Hopefully, uh, we'll see who wins. Um, it's weird because there's a lot of the games that were, I, I played Alan Wake 2. I played BG3. Um, I played Spider-Man 2. Um, hell, uh, I have to mention this game. 
uh, Starfield. Uh, I can't say it got totally stuck because it did get nominated for one <laughs> one award, but um, it you know we there was some some really good games, some really good games. So and like I said, everybody has their different opinions, perspectives, and what they play and bias and all that. Um, but this is just my opinion. And with that, guys, I am Ray. 3473 the gaming sideboard tomorrow saturday night i'll be playing some deceit 2 with hopefully some of my boys uh it's an awesome game and then uh just look for uh ray 3473 on threads and ray 3473 on x.com i'm always posting what i'm doing and shout out to my boys over there in cyborg city holding me down in the discord you guys have been great make sure uh you guys check out all the wonderful other content creators we got out there uh simply pwn uh raven anime uh my good friend uh vet mountain mac gaming uh rude digs and uh dorgon lo-fi monk uh we got a bunch folks we have a bunch cali drew voss he's doing his alan wake streams you guys make sure you check that out and also my good friend rock and bjorn over there on the rock brand and uh yeah in uh jeff Jeanette. love and peace guys enjoy these games peace i am ray 3473 i am the gaming sideboard you guys take care thank you we'll watch the beginning on youtube catch you guys later yep i'm about to upload it right now you guys have fun i also want to say uh we do have thanksgiving coming up Happy Thanksgiving uh, to everybody out there that's celebrating it out in the States or anywhere in the world you're celebrating Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Please be safe. And uh, yeah, I'm out. Peace. And I'm going to hit you with this.